Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances. And let the people say amen. It is a new season, gifted podcast listening community, and we are glad to serve you. Our primary purpose for this podcast is to make the word of God as practical as possible. God continue to bless you as you devote your time to the hearing of the word of God. Introducing the teaching ministry of Pastor Kwame. My name is Stephanie. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. The Lord is always faithful to his word. Scripture says that he that hear the word of God and obey that word is like a man that plant his house on a rock. And I believe that that rock is the living and everlasting the rock of ages our king and our lord let's pray you who sits in the affairs of men you who rule from heaven that your hand covers the earth unto you shall all praise be given we honor your name right now we ask that you will just express yourself in our lives we ask that you will just expand your glory over us. We ask that you will use us for your glory. We, we, we give you permission to take over our lives. We give you permission to take over our families. We give you permission to use us even when we don't feel like it. Invade our privacy for your purpose. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. We talked about blessings that we can access conditional blessings that we can access in our lives to intentionally walk in a blessing. And so in the book of Matthew chapter 3, sorry about that, Matthew chapter number 5, division 9. This is a line from the Beatitudes where Jesus was talking about the sermon on the mount it says blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God amen yesterday we talked about it is more blessed to give than to receive we don't talk about signs or characteristics of a peacemaker peacemaker it says you are blessed with the the identity called the son of God and that's not a son as in uh, biologic or not, I mean as a gender as in son but you identify as a child of God in this particular instant it means that uh, heaven has a title called son of God that makes you access some privileges as a child you know when jesus came on earth there were phrases like this my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased and jesus has this i mean god has this affinity towards christ because of the life that he lived in obedience to his assignment and so when we talk about what it means to be a peacemaker And what are some of the things that you can pursue to be a peacemaker so that you can live a blessed life? One of the things that is not happening is peacemaking. Because of social media, if you live in peace, you you will not trend. If you want to trend, you have to have beef with somebody. If you want to trend, you have to insult somebody. If you want to trend, you have to cause commotion. If you want to trend, you have to disrespect people. And so due to the shallowness of the time, due to the, the fact that good men are few, due to the fact that morality has gone down, due to the fact that respect is destroyed. Uh, let me pause here and share. Most of the stories I share, it comes from my mother, you know. So we thank God for her life. 
So, my mother told me the story. I think I've shared here before about a, t- a teacher that will kind of play with the girls in the school. It's a man play with the girls in the school and kind of bring himself to a level where he will be casual with the girls in the school and kind of playful with them and they talk back at him as like he made himself like a student so to speak you know and so in one of the meetings the teacher said to this teacher that let me give you a name like Mr. Smith or Mr. Brown or Mr. Mensa. If you keep playing with these girls, they will not respect you. <laughs> the teacher said, in this day and age, what, what do I need respect for? If you say in a local translation, it's very, very, very funny. It's like, what, I, what am I going to do with respect? Uh, you understand? So that is the sign of the times. Nobody cares whether they are respected. They will come on television and just say things. They will come on social media and say things because they don't care if you respect them or not. They don't care if um, you call them noble or not. They will just say whatever they want, you know. Nobody really care anymore. They don't care about anything. They will say whatever they want regardless whether it's acceptable, whether it makes them honorable they don't care anymore that's the kind of times we are living in and so this blessings is not tapped by many but i'm sharing five blessings with you conditional blessings and one of these and one of i mean peacemakers are a very powerful blessing you can walk under so that's what i want to share with you so the first characteristics or the first attributes or the first sign that you're a peacemaker is that you walk humbly you walk in humility you walk in humility you walk in humility now to you 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 have to understand that if you're going to be a peacemaker you are going to be um seen as uh it, it comes at the with a price because humility is defined as willingly letting yourself forgo some rights and privileges for a greater good. Scripture says he was equal with God but humbled himself even to the death on the cross. So humility is when you willingly let down some of your privileges and rights and things that you are entitled to for a greater good and you understand that if we're entitled to something and you forfeit it you are going to now be treated lower than you actually are that's why people were spitting on jesus people were slapping jesus people were piercing his side because when you humble yourself it comes with that i shared always my story that my humility has made me very um less famous my humility has made me less important my humility has made me kind of where i am you understand that right because when you humble yourself you will not be treated as important right but peacemakers do that because that's a sign of a peacemaker what it means is that um when it comes to a situation where you are looking at this scene that if i become who i really am there will not be peace because this person who is coming at me is fully disrespecting me but because i'm a peacemaker i will be quiet and let that person say whatever they want to say because i can humble myself to a point where if you think i'm a nobody i can play the nobody role for you to insult me and go and then i can continue in my life because i want to create peace instead of conflict instead of um chaos instead of all of the kind of um argument and fight and other things that exist everywhere you turn so peacemakers are humble people they 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 are willing to 
go down so that peace will prevail. And you know the challenge that comes with it. People will insult you. Not people who are fighting you, but people that are on your side. They will quickly say, don't act a fool. What is wrong with you? You know, um, don't let people bully you like that. So you, they will think you are, you are letting people bully you. <laughs> you know, that's what the thought is. Oh, especially for a husband who is a peacemaker. Everybody thinks, oh, don't listen to this guy. His wife controls him. Right? That is the the picture that shows up out there. But because you are a peacemaker, you understand that. So it is. A blessing position but like i don't know if i've told you before but all positions of blessings are not exciting so people don't walk in blessings they want the easy ones where i just put my hand on you put an oil on you and you are blessed that's kind of the ones that they feel that is good but the blessings i'm showing you they are things that are not appealing but yet powerful you understand that so the first sign of a peacemaker is that you are a humble person the second sign of a peacemaker is that you are a forgiving person you are a forgiving person because you don't hold things you don't keep people in your heart who have offended you but for peace sake you let things go for peace sake you are able to push the reset button for things to start again because you understand that for you to be a peacemaker you have to have a good dose of forgiveness for people so that always there will be peace in your home peace in your heart peace wherever you go but what is interesting is that it, the scripture did not say blessed are the peace uh, peaceful people blessed are the peaceful people he didn't say that he said blessed are the peacemakers in other words you have to create peace out of chaos you have to create it as work so the peace will not be there peace lovers will not create peace when the peace is destroyed they will just move away but peacemakers they go into the situation and they bring peace by paying for what will call, bring the peace. They pay it with humility. They pay it with forgiveness so that peace can be created because they have to make it happen. Do you understand that? Peacemakers are humble people. Peacemakers are forgiving people. They forgive. Another thing peacemakers do is that peacemakers are selfless people. They are selfless people because... Uh, to be a peacemaker, you can't have it your way. You know, all the time. Let me add that. If you only be a peacemaker, you can't have it your way all the time. If to be a peacemaker, you can't have it your way all the time. What it means is that you will you will sacrifice your choice for peace sake and I want to take this time and tell you that if you cannot be happy whether you get what you want or you don't get what you want and it's a matter of preference you are not a peacemaker let me say it again some of you you can be okay when it is not your preference. And I always say it like this. My daughters have, I have a pink daughter. I think I have a purple daughter. Those are their colors. Right. And when they were very young, they would not drink from a cup that is pink if they are a purple girl and purple is a pink girl. Even though the purpose of drinking is to quench their thirst, they are so caught up in the preference of the color of the cup that they will be rather crying thirsty than to drink from the wrong color. And so the first point is that if you can't forgo your preference for peace sake, you are still very childish. Doesn't matter how old you are. 
peacemakers are able you see what i like about peacemakers and people people that i admire people that i love secretly love are people that will not people that you can't even tell that it wasn't their preference during that transaction because they carry themselves so well that all along you thought they liked it but it wasn't their choice but they are so peaceful to a point that they can celebrate they can enjoy something even though left them alone that will not be their pick those are mature people those are people that i love you understand not people that it shows so clearly i don't want this and oh they can ruin a perfect date you have to be um so we have mental you have um we, we, i'm introducing a new terminology <laughs> i remember my pastor said i'm a doctor so i can come up with my own words i'm not a doctor but I am a content creator, so I can come up with my own word. So you know how we have a ment, uh, we have the IQ, and they have EQ. IQ is an intellectual um, kind of quotient, right? Which is mental, mentally sharp, right? And they have emotional quotient, emotionally sharp. There's another one which is called, um, which I'm coming up with it right now, which I will call it as. Um, situational quotient situational quotient which is to be able to understand the situation and be intelligent about it you cannot go on a outing with your husband or your wife and be bothered about a particular food and how it tasted and making a big deal about that evening for that dish and think that you have situational quotient. Do you understand that? There are certain things you don't let nobody know you don't like it because you ruin the whole thing. Do you understand? Moments, I call it situational quotient. Moments where if you do you, if you do you, you spoil the moment. Do you understand? So have a lot of. Even if you don't have situational quotient, you cannot serve God. Imagine Apostle Paul said, I become this to these people. I become that to that people. I become this. I don't like to do this, but I don't care because I'm not so bent in my own ways. People who don't have situational quotient, they can never marry. If two or less one of them has a general quotient or has a peacemaker and they allow you to do all of the unnecessary preference, there are things in your life that if you don't choose what you like, it will not kill you. There are things in your life, if you don't get the type you like, it will not destroy you. I'm not saying forget about yourself all the time, but what I'm saying is that know the situation and let the situation inform you that the right thing to do now is forget about what I like, what I don't like, and let the situation have a beautiful experience. So number three, peacemakers, uh, selfless people, and I guess I'll add peacemakers have situational quotient. They are situationally intelligent to realize that the only color they have is 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 this color but the situation require that i use it anyway another time i may get the color i want but this situation is you understand that because the point is that your favorite things your favorite things your favorite whatever your favorite whatever is your favorite something right and it's what you want and that will make you happy and all that makes sense right but there is nothing uh, there is nothing toxic about the things that are not your favorite 
the things that are not your favorite will not kill you if you do them. You understand? And so you have to live your life with understanding that. Because I'm a peacemaker, I have things in my life that are not my preference, but it's not biggie. You understand? Lastly, before we go, peacemakers are not doormats. Or, or, or pe- you cannot be a peacemaker if you're a doormat. If you let people bully you, you are not a peacemaker. You understand? Peacemakers, they are fighters. Do you understand that? Because one of the things that people who are not peacemakers, so there's a between a peacemaker and a chicken. <laughs> right? If we're a chicken, it means you let people bully you. That is not peacemakers. Right? Peacemakers are not chicken. Yes, peacemakers are for righteousness. So when something is not right, peacemakers will not. That is how the devil ended up in hell. God will not tolerate a stupid devil in heaven. Sometimes for peace sake, you have to cut people loose. You understand? You have to come to a level where for peace sake, you got to cut people loose. Because they are not willing to do the right thing. They are not willing to walk in the right way. And they want you to accept that is not acceptable. Sin is not acceptable. You understand that? So peacemakers are fighters. They will. That's why sometimes there is a need to fight the devil off. Fight the... You have to remove some people for peace to happen. You have to be willing to cut people to let them go. If you're going to be a peacemaker, do you understand that? So, I pray that you will take the challenge to be a peacemaker so that you can be called a child of God. And therefore, there are, I, I, I believe all the things Jesus said, there are titles that comes with some benefits. Because he said, blessed people, they shall be called a child of God. You know, some day you can inherit the earth. All of these things has specific blessings that's attached to that particular condition. So may God make you a peacemaker in whatever you do. In Jesus' name, amen.